Hey guys, I just wanted to hop on quick and show you how to use an abacus and basics. So the first skill you're going to want to teach your kids is called supertization, and that's the ability to quickly look at a number and know what it is. So our brains naturally supertize one through four, like you can look at that and think it's one, you don't have to spend a lot of time there, even small kids don't have to. Um, and then you can learn to see this as two, and that as three, and you can practice by like doing kind of like a quick activity where you just, like they close their eyes, you swipe a number, and they have to say it immediately three, and you practice this till their brains get um, really fast at that, up to four. And then when you do five, the way that you're going to supertize this is you're going to train them to see two and three and to memorize that as like kind of like a math fact that two and three is five. And then they can also see that's all the blue beads and to recognize that all the blue beads always means five. All the yellow beads over here always means five. So that's another way. And then when you want to help them supertize larger numbers on the abacus, they just memorize that this is five and one is six. So they know all the blue beads and one yellow bead, that's six. All the blue beads and two, that is seven. And they just practice seeing these things. They can supertize three. And so like if, if this was a number, they'd see two and three, or, or I have all my blue beads, so I know that's five. And then they would have to practice memorizing that five and three is eight. So then they get really fluent at seeing five and four is nine, five and five is 10. So they memorize all of those. And then um, the next thing you were going to want to teach them is um, pairs to 10. So if you have one, that means there's nine on this side, and that makes 10, because that's there's 10 beads on the line. If I have two over here, then I want them to memorize that I know I have eight over here. And then you can check that, because you can see all the yellow beads. We know that's five. We supertize three. We memorize five and three is eight. So then you're kind of matching two and eight and and you play you can play kind of a game like it's called um it's, it's just like go fish but um instead you take out the face cards and you just instead of pairs you play with matches like if i had a two in my hand and wanted to get a match i would actually ask for an eight and then you can have the abacus out and if they are looking at their hand and they're like i have a two i have to practice knowing that two and eight match to ten so they get really good at knowing, okay, there's five and three, that's eight, and here's two, that's 10. So all of those little matches. And then once they're really good with just doing that one through 10, so you subitize one through five, right? And then you practice knowing five and one, five and two, all of those, and then you do the pairs to 10. And then you can subitize large numbers because then you can subitize this way too. It's like, oh, I can see that this is three. And I know that if it's all the beads, then that is um, three rows of 10. And you can call that 310. You don't have to call it 30 necessarily. It's just three groups of 10. And then you can learn the word for that is 30. And so you can see quickly, like if I have, see how the beads switch colors? So if I have all of the beads before they switch, then that means 50. So I could quickly know that this is 70 without counting them. I wouldn't even have to count to seven because I would know that this is five and two because I memorized a long time ago that this is five and two, right? So can you see the, the correlation between this being five, like all of the blues and two yellows to now having all the blues and then two yellows, but you're seeing it this way. This is all my blues, that's five, it's automatically 50 plus two more is 70. So then if something shows, like if a program shows me this number, I can see, oh, okay, 70, and then I'm seeing five and three is eight. So I know that's 78. Um, and you can get faster and faster at doing this, but um, it's really great to practice in real life before you try to do it on a computer or anything timed or anything stressful like that. So that's how I'd go about teaching this and just some ways you can practice. Thanks, guys.